Welcome to this HISD Quick Tip. On this episode, we're going to learn to how to set up an email account using Yahoo. Now, let me say this up front. It's not appropriate to try to access a Yahoo email account from our school network. Uh, Yahoo is blocked, and it's not something that you'd want to do. Uh, teachers, staff, employees all have email accounts. Students have student email accounts. Those are the email accounts you should use to contact your teachers or anybody else in the school system that you need to send an email to. However, there are times where you want to be able to have your own email account uh, to email your friends back and forth. Yahoo is one of those options. So what I did to start off with was I came up and I did a search, a Google search, and I typed in Yahoo Mail. And once I typed in Yahoo Mail, this is a Google search that we came up with. Now you'll see we have Yahoo Mail, the best web-based email. Now if we clicked on that link, we would go to this page. Now you'll see here that if you have a previous Yahoo ID and password, you can just log right in. This is where you will go after you've established an account. But if you haven't established an account before, you'll have to go down where it says don't have a Yahoo ID, sign up. So if we click on that, we will go to this page. So we're just going to create a fictitious email account just to show you how we'll do it. And we will say John Doe. And we will say John is a male. And John's birthday is January the 1st. 1985. Live in the United States and we will put in a zip code. Select an ID. See if they'll generate an ID because a lot of times if you have names that are similar to somebody who's always had an account, I, I guarantee if you have a John Doe or John Smith or, or something that's very similar, um, they'll already have that email address taken. But let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can go with John Doe, 1985-1985, and that will be at yahoo.com. Let's check and see if that email address uh, is available. Sorry, no ID, select, ID suggestions are available. Let's try to do another one. Let's go John Doe, and let's go... Let's try underscore, underscore, one, nine, eight, five. Let's see if we can get that email address. Yay. Well, we'll try this one. How about John Doe, 1985, 49, at yahoo.com. We'll type in a password, and you have to have up from six to 32 uh, characters, no spaces, and don't use your name or your ID. So let's say that John Doe, 1985, 49, wanted to use Herford, H-E-R-E-F-O-R-D-H-I-G-H. -E -E see if you want to use Herford, hi, and we'll do that one more time, H-E-R-E-F-O-R-D-H-I-G-H. -E -E Alternate email, in case you forgot, um... We're not going to put one in. Just a couple of more details. It wants you to type the, type the word code that you see there, and that appears to be V W D M N P. Do you agree to the terms? Yes, you have to select the terms. And let's see if we can create my account. Uh, okay, we'll do one right here. We'll send it to my email account at school. And security question, uh, what was the name of your first school? What's your favorite pastime? And my favorite pastime is grand children. Okay, we've already typed everything. Let's see if we can create an account this time.
Oops, what did we make a mistake? Uh, this ID is not available. Let's see if we add the 49 there. Check for that. There we go. Now I think we have everything selected properly. Let's see if we can type another code in here. 8 J is that C N B L A. Let's see what happens. Sometimes these are, are difficult to get through all the security steps in order to set up a password. Oops, we forgot something in. Like I said, we didn't type the password correctly or the security code. Let's go P J L R E C T Y. See if that one works. Create an account. And we'll give it a couple of minutes. Yay! We just got an email account. So our email is going to be John Doe at Yah uh, John Doe underscore 198549 at yahoo.com. And one thing that I want to do, I'm going to close out a couple of screens here. I really want to take a screenshot of this. So I am going to use a free program that I like called Jing. And as soon as Jing opens up, you'll see it opening up on the screen. I'm going to take a screenshot of this so we can, whoops, going to take a screenshot. So we can actually add a picture of this to the page that we create. And we'll take that picture right there. It's going to be an image. And we want to download that onto our desktop. And we will just call this Yahoo. So I'm going to add that picture to our we go. We'll add that picture to our Wikispace page when we upload it. And there we go. We have created let me stop that just a second. We have created our own email account. Now you can do that pretty much anywhere um, that you anywhere that offers a free email service. Yahoo is one, Gmail is one, AOL, I still think you can get AOL, a free email account. So that's how you create an email account outside of school. Now I hope this HISD quick tip has been helpful and if so, try your email account out and even send me an email. I'd love to hear from you, especially if you have an idea for a new HISD quick tip. So until next time, have a wonderful day.